You know, we have a, a very unique situation. The movie's in profits already. <laughs> so there's no number we have to make. We are doing this um, as, as a thank you to the fans. We're doing this as a celebration to the crew who work so hard. And we believe that people will want to return to Titanic and experience it again for the first time in 3D because it is a new and totally different experience. I don't think any of the footage Jim filmed at Marius Trench will make it into Avatar 2, but I think his experience of going there will be inspiration for the next films. The next films will certainly have an underwater element. We want to introduce people to new places of Pandora. When we let them return there and go on a journey with, with Jake and, and Neytiri again, it's going to be a whole new part of, of Pandora, and the underwater world will be part of that. We're going to release the movies when they're ready. Titanic was supposed to be a summer movie. It wasn't. The first Avatar was supposed to be 2008. It wasn't. You know, we're going to make the movie, and we're going to deliver to the audience something that we hope exceeds their expectations. What we're looking to do with Avatar 2 and 3 is to enhance the facial performance and to enhance the in-theater experience by increasing frame rates, by projecting not at 24 frames per second, but maybe at 48 or maybe at 60 frames per second, which will not only give us that many more frames with which to animate and articulate a character's performance, but will, which, which will transform the in-cinema experience where the flicker and strobing that we've become accustomed to will go away and images will actually be brighter on the screen.